Hey everybody, David Lemon here. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about the changes that went live in the past couple of days, maybe weeks, uh, for Groove Pages. Some of you may be aware of a couple of these things, but some of you may not be aware of all, everything that went live. So I'm going to be telling you about these changes. So uh, the first two things that we added are pretty major. We were working on the first one for quite some time, almost a couple of months. And this is for automatic image conversion and compression. So whenever you upload a new image, now what we do is, let's just select, for example, this image. We automatically take this image and convert it to WebP. Okay, so WebP is a, is a new image type like JPEG or PNG. It's a new image type that is, that is specifically created to be loading fast on web browsers. Would that be on mobile phones or on desktops? Uh, it is basically converting it to this newest file type so that it's fast. And then we also compressed the images so we serve the best image on the page whenever you need it. Let's just say that if you are visiting a web page on a desktop, you may want to see the full image. But if you now select this image, uh, for example here, this is a full HD image. We may not want to load this uh, on a mobile device in full HD because it just doesn't make sense. So we are going to be serving the proper sized images on different devices and different screens. So this is a huge update. We're working on that one. And this is now available in all of the apps in Groove pages, uh, sorry, in Groove. So yeah, we are doing this compression and conversion automatically now. The second thing is that we are now uh, able to save favorite colors inside our new color picker. In the previous updates, I was uh, telling you about the color picker that we added. And now we have added another option, which is favorites. So how the favorite works is that, for example, if you now select a color from here, this plus button shows up. You also see the recent colors that you were using, but you can make uh, make favorites which will stay cooked in inside your browser. And this is per site. So you can create many different favorite colors for this particular site. You can move out, click on another site, and then you can create many different favorite colors. Think of it like a brand. One site will be your brand. You can put in your favorites for that particular brand, uh, but you can go into another site and put in other colors for your brand. All right, so this is cookie based. We are going to be working on making sure that this is server based so that when you go and open a different browser, for example, you, you work now in Chrome, you open Opera or I don't know, Brave as a browser and continue working there that these favorites are going to stay. At this moment, they will not stay. The next step on, on the roadmap for this favorites is to make it server based. All right. Um, so yeah, these were the two changes that we added recently. Okay, let me show you. So when you click the plus button, then it shows up. You can also click the minus button and then it disappears. So this is the how the favorite works. Uh, so these were the two changes that we added and these are fairly large changes that are going to be making a huge impact in your workflows. But I, we have a lot more to, to come. I'm going to be telling you about the things that we improved. So another thing that was just released a couple of days ago and this was uh, this was a pretty cool update for example when you select an image or when you select a, a button for example you could add borders and you can make it round and things like that but now we did a change on here so we have a, a new layout and how you manage the different changes uh, on in terms of the borders so you can see here, this uh, is for the corners. This is for the width, the border width, and this is for the corners. So if you would like to select them all, you just click in the middle, all right? Then you select all the corners. If you don't want to select all the corners, let's just say that you want to have this one and this one, then you can now manage these corners and create uh, designs like these, for example. So when you come back, you still see that these corners have applied 99 pixels. If you want to manage it, you just reselect them and then you just edit it as you wish. It is now working with a much smoother slider than previously. We had previously just a, a drop down with a couple of different options. Now it is a smooth slider, as you can see, so you can manage it as you wish. So one more time, selecting all, uh, clicking in the middle, unselecting all, clicking again in the middle to work with it. 
here this one is for the uh, for the border width so if you would like to add some border width then you can select the, the width size you can select the different colors and then you can also select specific uh, specific sides or specific borders that you want to edit let's just say that you want uh, the side borders to be a bit larger than the other ones or smaller so you can now select and unselect same thing for clicking in the middle you click in the middle and this selects all so you can continue managing all at the same time that's basically it we have uh, moved away from the previous version with the drop down uh, menus and then the custom options we just show you this one now and then you can manage everything from here all right moving on um Recent colors are saved even after the page get refreshed per site. So this is this is coming back to our uh, image. Uh, sorry, the color picker. So when you when you previously saved the recent colors and you refreshed the browser, it was not saving the recent colors. But now I'm going to show you that when we come back, it's going to actually show us still the red color. As I mentioned, that now we are saving it is at inside cookies so it stays saved in the browser whenever you refresh or log out or something it's going to be still saved as a recent color adding three extra color uh, shades so over here we have this uh, orangish brownish color we have pink and purple or purple and pink uh, so we had previously some unclickable or, or blue colors I believe two different blue colors when you hovered over it, there were no drop down so now we added this uh, brownish color uh, purple color and pink color or vice versa not sure the ladies will know but um, but now we have all of the colors uh, in this uh, in this line have a drop down and uh, you can select a bunch of different colors with one click moving on we have um, changed some of the systems for our screenshots and previously our screenshots were generating uh, something like this so where you where we generated a screenshot but there was also white space around it now any new screenshots that get generated by the system like for your own saved blocks or something like that will not have this white border around it so all the screenshot system is uh, improved in terms of the what it captures and how it shows when we talk about uh, the next improvement then we are going to go to quick pop-ups we did a bunch of changes for quick pop-ups so i'm going to change uh, i'm going to show you here when you click on a button or a link you can go to configure and previously our quick pop-ups were selectable here from a type like a, a link type do you want to link it uh, regularly or to a quick pop-up now we change that a little bit so now what we do is we ask you what do you want to link to do you want to link to a page blog url blog and then if you want like if you would like to uh, link to quick pop-ups then you select pop-ups and then you decide if you want a regular pop-up or a quick pop-up so here we have had some uh, some changes as you can see we can now manage the pop-up width by default it is set to 625 this is kind of a regular um, pop-up width but if you decide to to change it you can with this slider so you can now manage if you want wide sliders or narrow sliders this is up to you by default when you create a quick pop-up it's going to be 625 so um, uh, yeah so we also added some appearing animation leaving animation for this uh, quick pop-ups and now this is all available in here moving on uh, we have added uh, let's just see uh, we have added uh, a default option for when you are cloning a page so when you want to oops, when you want to clone the page here so you click on the clone and by default it was a different site so this option was selected by default now we manage that the, this site is by default in case you want to clone it to a funnel folder or somewhere that is going to show up all of the options here previously had to select this site and then go to the different options um, we improved the image picker as well I I didn't want to talk about that when talking about uh, features that we added but we also improved our image picker like I just mentioned uh, that when you upload uh, upload videos we do this compression but what uh, I didn't mention that you do not have to click an upload button anymore you just select an image and this is uploading immediately 
Also, you, we do not show the preview anymore of the of the image because now you upload the image, it goes to our server where we then serve the best possible image size um, and the best possible image ratio on the page where you put it. So it's it's not it's not cropping the original image or it's not kind of editing the original image when you are uh, adjusting it on the canvas, but this image library is kind of the original images that are shown, but you can also then go in and, and do some uh, changes. Previously, we had a different cropping and um, adjustment screen. Now, what you do is just click on this uh, three dots, and then you can delete the image from here, or you can crop it and adjust it from here. All right. If you want, you could also manage the dimensions. You can type in the width, like let's just say 150, and then it automatically adjusts the height. But you can also unlink it and then adjust both manually, like 175, and then this won't change. So you need to actually type in the desired uh, width and height uh, yourself. So now we have this option. You can click on this lock, and then it's kind of locking in the, the aspect ratio. All right, cool. Moving on, we have moved the X button and the, and the down arrow button for pop-ups. When you create a pop-up, let me just select this one, and you go to pop-up settings. What we do, what we did immediately is we shown this pop-up and on all of the pages. So if you have multiple pages here, we have selected all of the pages like this. All were showing up. What we did is we moved this X button for clearing all and we moved this down arrow button uh, here on the top and not at the bottom because in certain cases, in certain sites, you have a lot of pages where you want to show this pop-up and then you would have to scroll down to see all of uh, these options, but now they are stuck on the top so you can uh, clear or select options much easily. Uh, some more options, what we did here, improvements is that we did, we we did select all of the pages automatically previously. Now we do not select all of the pages automatically, but you have to select these uh, the pages yourself because uh, it was loading unnecessary code on pages where the pop-up was not even shown yet. So now, if you would like to show this pop-up on a page, you just come here, select it, and then it will trigger and show on that page. Uh, also, we did improvements that the pop-up code will only load after the normal website page has loaded or the funnel page has loaded first for the user so then after that we load the pop-up so it's just a uh, uh, for speed I improvements we load pop-up at the end not at the beginning of the whole loading process um yeah that's basically all in terms of improvements there were a lot of fixes as well i'm going to just show you here a sneak peek so all of these things are fixes i will link them or i will write them all about <laughs> i will write them out all below this video so you can have a look i'm not going to be mentioning all of them because it's not relevant for everybody some people reported certain uh, certain bugs we have fixed a bunch of them so if you are looking for something specific have a look at the list below and then you'll be happy to see all of the things all of the changes that were or already are live so yeah that's it uh, many more cool things to come with groove pages we are preparing the groove pages 2.0 we have finalized the share page share funnel option as well so a lot more cool things to come in the next future videos